Some of you may know that working on this K form part of the install was a Lowrance BR24 digital radar. And of course, that requires a radome. Now, one of the challenges on this boat was a T top. Most radomes will be installed through aluminum plates that are welded somewhere in between those two center cross members to through bolt the radome too. As you can see there are no plates so I said how the heck am I gonna install this radome? So let me climb aboard here for a bit. I had to do a little bit of thinking. I got to really looking at the top and I said okay yeah I've got some nice plates here and here but they're not gonna do a bit of good. Yeah you could always derig the top have somebody weld a plate across here or even a plate here and here but that's you know really not going to happen so what I did was let me climb up on the gunnel here I got a piece of half three quarter inch starboard from our good friends Plastics America down in Atomo through bolted it to these two supports running there which I think doesn't look obtrusive I could probably break those bolts off a little bit but I don't really think it's necessary and then of course before I mounted it I pre-drilled the mounting holes for the radome itself as you can see this thing is pretty much solid as a rock it isn't going anywhere today's radomes are real easy you just plug in that cable right there I've got a feed through here which I'm just simply going to caulk over and then they it runs down into the radio box as you can see here and there's where you can see the XM weather I'm sorry serious weather module right next to it that worked out real nice and then the radome instead of being the old Raytheon multi gazillion wire plugs simply has an Ethernet plug that you see right there that plugs into the LSS1 structure scan module which doubles as a Ethernet hub and voila there you have a radar the neat thing about these new radars is that they're instant on there's no more magnetrons you can actually stand next to that radar that radome and it won't bother you a bit now I'm going to turn it on. Lorantian. Oops, probably should turn the battery switch on. That would help. Oh, legs bother me a little bit here today. But I'm going to turn the Lorantz unit on. Give it a minute here. It does take a little bit to wake up. Used to be the old magnetron radars which you didn't want to stand next to especially if you were pregnant um, they took about 90 seconds to warm up before they came up um, these come on instantly and we get to the page here for a second give me a minute or give it a minute I should say come on come on there we go yeah, I'm gonna it's gonna ask me to accept oh darn well look at that Serious radio. Well, we're gonna get away from that. And turn volume down. Oh god, I hate this. This damn thing is so hard to uh let's see. Excellent. Ah, aggravating pages. We'll go to radar. Enter. Okay, radar on standby. Uh, let's see. Enter. Cancel that. This is ridiculous trying to figure this shit out. Uh, let's see. Radar, radar overlay, radar overlay off. Let's go back to pages. Can't even figure out how to turn the damn thing on. It really pisses you off. 
Look at that. New waypoint go to info overlay chart options imagery 2D. How the hell you turn the damn thing on? So let's go to menu. Double menu. Radar. Installation. Enter. Radar status. Enter.